Hey guys, James Mulvaney here. Now sound effects can be used to bring your audio projects to life. Etc. Etc. You know what I mean. Uh, but they're great fun to use. You can use them either um, when you're editing, or you can actually tie them to something like a Rodecaster Pro and have them set on hotkeys. It'd be great if you're doing a podcast, or if you're doing a live stream, or a radio show. So I wanted today to show you five websites where you can go and grab some sound effects. Hey, so if you're new to this channel, my name is James Mulvaney. I'm always creating content like this for audio entrepreneurs, because uh, that's what I am. I work primarily in podcasting radio. I'm founder of radio.co, podcast.co, matchmaker.fm, and Q Podcast. So we're always doing interesting content just like this, talking about creating great audio, creating great radio, live streaming, etc., equipment reviews, all of that good stuff. You should know the drill by now. Uh, if you want more content like this, hit that subscribe button, and please remember to give me a big thumbs up this video. It really, really helps. So here are five websites that you can go and get sound effects from. But before that, I wanted to talk about where to use sound effects and where to not use sound effects. Now you can go overboard with sound effects and it can become annoying to your listeners. So if you've kind of got like a really zany presenting style and stuff, having like the occasional like boing boing or like an air horn or something like that, can kind of add a bit of excitement, especially if you're broadcasting live or you're doing a live stream of some sort. However, if you're making jingles, like lasers and swooshes and all these kind of things, they sound cool, but you can have some overproduced jingles which kind of go a bit too far and end up kind of just being a little bit annoying to the listener. So bear that in mind whenever you're creating any kind of audio content, whether it be live or you're editing it, uh, you know, as, as a pre-record. And of course, if you're telling stories, uh, let's say you're creating a podcast which is, um, you know, an audio drama. Um, well, you want that sound of the gate creeping as someone comes in or the door creaking open, or you might want a sound of the car horn going when you're talking or background traffic. So again, you know, you can create the soundscape and that's the great thing about audio, I think. Uh, it's really being able to paint a picture in your listener's minds. A lot easier to do using sound effects than it would be to do actually with a camera. So for example, right now, if I wanted to paint myself in Paris, um, I guess these days it's kind of a little bit easier, but traditionally you might have to have like a big fancy set with the Eiffel Tower in the background with a big backdrop, or you could use something like green screens to it, which doesn't always look good. But if I want to paint myself in Paris right now, um, you know, I will say I will sat in a, a bistro and there's some maybe clinking of cups in the background and some nice gentle talking, and then we can fade in some slightly Parisian music. And you get the idea. I've created something in your head that sounds as if I'm in Paris and on a fraction of the budget that perhaps it would be to actually go to Paris and record it. Um, but immediately you start having those thoughts, you paint that uh, picture in your head for yourself. So that's what I've always really loved about audio as a storytelling medium, whether it be podcasting, radio, live streaming, you name it. So here are five websites you can go and grab yourself some awesome sound effects from. Number one, the Free Sound Project. The Free Sound Project has thousands of free sound effects to download, and it's actually one of the most popular platforms out there. Because all you'll need to do to make an account, type your desired sound into the search bar, and choose the right one from the list. Then just click download, and you're good to go. Number two, Zap Splat. Zapsplat has over 100,000 completely free sound effects up for grabs. Their website is really easy to use as well, with sounds being broken down into categories including sound design, cartoons, sci-fi and horror. And like with the free sound project, just create an account, search for what you're looking for and download it straight to your computer. Easy. Number three, Soundbible. Soundbible is another go-to for free sound effects. All are available to download in either MP3 or WAV format, making it a really flexible source. There are some very niche sound effects up for grubs, such as soaring wood, marbles, and ice skating. Select the right format, download it straight away. Number four, Epidemic Sounds. If you're looking for great musical beds for a podcast or radio show, Epidemic Sounds goes further to supply a whole range of great music as well as an impressive library of sound effects. The site requires a paid monthly subscription starting around $7 a month, but the sound effects and music they have on offer are one of the most impressive libraries we have found so far. 
Number five, Music Radio Creative. If you want those smooth swooshes, segs, and transitions for your radio station, then Music Radio Creative is a great choice. And also, I just did a video with them. This video will show you everything you need to know to get that pro radio voice. They produce custom-made effects for your show, perfect for voiceovers, radio jingles, and podcast intros. And even better, adding a layer of bespoke professionalism to your sound. What makes the difference between a successful radio station and a failed project? Well, after working with tens of thousands of broadcasters over the past 15 years and helping lots of people start their own radio stations, I see the same mistakes being made time and time again. So what I've done is I've put together a guide called the five step radio startup checklist which really covers everything from concepting your radio station to marketing it. And this guide, I believe, will make the difference between you having a successful venture with longevity and creating something that doesn't quite hit the mark. Go and grab your copy now for free at jamesm.com radio. Just enter your name and your email address and I'll send it over to you straight away. You're going to find it really useful. There's tons of information there which will help you with concepting and launching your brand and bringing it to market.